So while making this speech, I did a lot of research and I totaled up that there are over 90 different types of equestrian sports. And today I'm going to be talking about different types of equestrian sports, that, which are sports that involve horses. Um, equestrian sports are very important to um, basically, I think, everyone because it's a great part of our history and most of them started out as just doing chores and hauling stuff and then have grown into sports later in the years. Um, I've done lots of research while writing this speech and um, I worked on, I took horse riding lessons when I was a kid and I worked on a ranch last winter with um, cutting and reining horses, which I'll be talking about in my speech. And I'll be talking about cutting, reining, and steer wrestling during my speech. Um, reining is the first of the equestrian sports I'm going to be talking about today. Um, reining is a judged event in a um, confined area to show the athletic ability of a ranch type horse. Um, it's scored from zero to infinity, which sounds kind of weird, but it's not really that hard. Um, so the, you start with, the horse and the rider start with 70 different, 70 points, and then you can get, um, you can either gain a point and a half or anywhere in between, or a point and a half can be taken away, depending on um, how the judges scored your move, if it was smooth or like one of the guys, the guy who I worked for, he ran his horse into the ball, so he got a point and a half taken off for that. Um, and with the average score in being about 70 points. Um, the American Quarter Horse is the most popular breed for this, but other horses are competitive in it. Um, one of the most popular moves uh, that people use is the sliding stop. And that's, this guy is actually the guy I worked for. His name's Bill Zahara. And this horse is his horse, Ginger. And so like the sliding stop, they bring the horse up to a gallop. The horse just quick puts down its back legs and kind of locks them up, tucks its head, and just slides. And some of them can slide like up to 20 feet, depending on how fast they're going. Um, and then some other moves are they um, stand in um, tight corners, where they'll just stand in one spot and just circle really quickly, and then um, um, rollbacks, which are basically just U turns, you just turn the horse around. Um, and then, like football players have um, plays to for, to know what they're going to do. Um, Raining has um, their own plays and they're called patterns. And so I have one of the patterns here, and pattern number eight. So they start here, and then these are the tight turns I was talking about. And then they go through the circles, they get judged on. There's large, fast circles, and they get slower the closer you go in. It's normally done to music. So they try to make it look pretty music. This is where the sliding stops happen. They just bring it up to a gallop, and then they slide, stop, and then turn around, and then head here right in front of the judging box. And there are um, 12 different patterns um, that are approved by the NRHA, which stands for the um, National Rain Horse Association, according to the National Rain Horse Association. Um, so I first talked about raining, and then next I'm going to be talking about cutting. Cutting is an equestrian sport that has its roots in um, herding cattle back in whenever people started herding cattle. Um, um, the objective is you get two and a half minutes to go into a herd of cattle, get um, two cows out separately from the herd. One has to be from within like the middle. And so once you get one of your cows out, normally you'll go in one of the cows, you'll try to get one cow out, but like five will come out. So you have to just try to weed it down to get the one that you want. And then that cow is going to want to try to get back in the herd instinctively, but there are four other riders in the arena. So if like that one cow doesn't want anything to do, it tries to run to the next side. They keep on pushing it back towards you. You get judged on how um, well the horse moves if the horse keeps the cow out of the herd. If it doesn't, you get docked. But so once that um, horse is out of the arena, out, out of the arena, out of the herd, you sit. Um, you have to basically just hold on to the saddle horn for dear life because that horse is just going to dodge and try to get back, and try to keep the cow from getting back in. So that's one of the pictures. That one is pretty well, but there's like other times where the horse is like all the way basically flat on the ground, like two inches underneath its stomach, because the heck cow is just trying to, going to try to cut on each end of the horse and try to get past it. 96% um, of cutting horses are American Quarter Horses, but many other breeds are competitive, just like in Rainy. So, um, like Appaloosa's paint, 
Kings and Arabians. It's scored out of from 60 to 80 points, and there's five judges. Um, out of the, the top score and the lowest score are canceled, and so only three scores count. Um, and then a quote from Bill Zahara, the guy I worked for, it's all about um, letting the horse find its way um, the best it can, and then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to slowly let the horse get to the herd, otherwise it'll just spook up the cattle and run away. The third and final thing I'll be talking about today is steer wrestling. Um, steer wrestling is the fastest out of all of the rodeo sports, and it's kind of like my personal favorite. I think it looks like the most fun. It's more riders based on rider skill than horse skill. Um, so there are two riders, the wrestler and the hazer. The hazer's job is just to keep the, they start the hazers on the right side, the steers in the middle, and then the wrestlers on the left. The hazer's job is just to keep the steer going straight, otherwise if there wasn't a hazer, just swing out and the steer, the wrestler couldn't get to the steer. Um, when the wrestler is close enough to the steer, they um, jump down, they basically slide off their horse. They slide off their horse. Um, then you grab one of the antlers and grab their right antler in their right in between the elbow. And then the left antler, hold on, basically, hold on. They get dragged a little bit, but their feet are about out in front of them. Then once they feel the timing's right, they'll stand up, grab the cow's head, like its nose, and then flip it onto its side. And then the time is stopped when the um, seer's feet are facing the opposite direction. So basically the seer's just laying down like that. And um, so it sounds like it takes a while, but fast times, which I qualify for nationals, are um, within three to four seconds. That happens. So it's really quick. Um, so in conclusion, we talked about reining, cutting, and steer wrestling today. And hopefully you all know a little bit more than you used to. And then um, some people would say that horseback riding is easy because all you have to do is just sit on the horse and the horse does all the rest of it. But the horse wouldn't do anything. And when your teammate is a 1,200 pound animal and the only way you can communicate with it is your legs and hands and falling off at 20 miles per hour is, um, is slow. I just, I did it for, thank you.